So let's say you want to download some files and then you go to a website. Let's say, for example, I'm in 7zip.org right here. And here you can see that I have an option to download this particular application. So over here, you can see that download link is provided to you. We can also go around on to download so that you can access out different download options that you can see right here. So now let's say I want to download it and all I need to do to download is click on the link for the download right here. And then it starts downloading out the, um, uh, the content as you can see, and you can see that this is what you have. So if I were to go around on to more options right here, I can open out the download space as well. And this is what you have. All of the downloads that you have right here gets um, uh, get accumulated over here, just like this. If I were to go around over here on to downloads, then I get to the same page as well. And if I were to go around and click on show in folder, then it opens up the Explorer window where uh, and will access the download page as you can see, and you can see the, the, the file that you have downloaded. Similarly, you can go around and download out more files right here. So you can go around and click the download button to download out more files and all of them will be there in the download page as you can see right here. So if I were to go for a downloads, then you can see that I can filter it out by different file types as well. Like you can see that right now I got exe that is apps format of file and I got compressed file as you can see right here, just like this. So that is how you can go around and download files and access the download piece inside of Microsoft S. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.